Moonfall is almost everything I want out of a big, juicy, old-school RPG. While it's still lacking a lot of polish, the exciting combat and excellent complex quest writing bring it very close to that winning formula of a mid-2000s Bioware game. That's something the developer, Spiders, has aimed for but missed with its last couple RPGs. But Greedfall's sprawling adventure finally seems to have landed on the right foot, and it was worth the wait. Comparisons to the Witcher series and Dragon Age Origins are easy to make as you travel across these wild, semi-open environments on a huge 60-hour adventure. Spiders has always been great at world building, and the Age of Discovery-inspired fantasy setting Greedfall throws you into doesn't disappoint in that regard. Starting in the moody, muddy streets of the city of Serene that evokes Paris or London in the 1700s, you set sail for the mysterious volcanic island of Tir Fredi. The island itself is full of beautiful and diverse but still grounded environments that look lovely rendered on my GTX 1070, though I did experience some inconsistent frame rates here and there. I had a few crashes to death desktop, especially common around the middle of the campaign for some reason, and the lighting sometimes acts really weird when you quickly move between areas. Like I said, technical polish is not Greedfall's strong suit. The characters have also landed in a bit of an uncanny valley that may have been avoidable with slightly more stylized models. The facial animations have definitely gotten better since Spider's last game, The Technomancer, but overall most conversations are still lent a bit of an eerie robotic feel thanks to the stilted way the colonial governors, pirates, and native warriors look and move. On the other hand, the outfits they wear are detailed and wonderfully evocative, and the voice acting is pretty high quality, at least for most of the main characters. It's enough to drive one to unsheath a blade, do you not agree? In writing, every faction has a clear personality and set of objectives that affect how they relate to one another and to the natives. From the scientifically-minded Bridge Alliance to the fanatical, evangelizing Teleme, each represents a piece of a many-layered, morally complex tale about colonization, religion, politics, and worlds colliding, with plenty of surprises in store. It's very hard to divide this world into good guys and bad guys. And there is no morality system. That forced me to make a lot of interesting decisions based on my own value judgments. I love it when an RPG doesn't slap me on the wrist arbitrarily for acting on my own idea of justice. The quests are exceptionally well written, pretty much across the board, and often made those interesting decisions I mentioned all the more difficult. They tactfully handle some heavy themes that I haven't seen tackled in other story games, like institutionalized abuse of soldiers in the military and forced re-education of natives. Tir Fredi is rarely a cheerful place, and similarly to The Witcher 3, the best you can do sometimes is try to find the least terrible outcome to a very dark situation. Backing all of this up is a fun, flowing, challenging tactical combat system that I still haven't gotten enough of. Combat was by far the weakest part of Spider's past games, so this is a monumental improvement and a pleasant surprise. I actually look forward to battles instead of dreading them, which let me dodge and roll around both human and monstrous opponents, firing away at their armor with a musket or pistol before going in to finish the kill with some showy saber work. I enjoyed myself just about every step of the way through Greedfall's roughly 60 hours of morally complex exploration and swashbuckling. The Technomancer was disappointing, but I still wanted to see other games try the ambitious things it was attempting with more success, and Greedfall delivers on that promise. There are still glitches, awkward character models, immersion-breaking reuse of building interiors, and it has a general bugginess that keeps it from being unambiguously excellent. But I have a feeling this is going to be a crowd-pleaser for those of us who still shake our canes and talk about how the genre peaked a decade ago. We may have to eat our words before long. For more on Greedfall, check out the first 17 minutes of gameplay, our 7 tips to get you started, and 3 approaches to defeating a boss. And for everything else, stick with IGN.